This is your forecast for the month of March 2018. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. So Leo, this first week, there are issues centering around either self-reliance, self-sufficiency, or perhaps being taken care of. For some of you, you're having the time and the money and, and the inclination to spend your time as you will, and you may prefer your own company. You may be enjoying yourself. You may be pursuing a hobby or something that you're interested in, or you're in retreat mode for some reason. And, you know, for some of you, you are focused on your financial security. So you're looking at how to gain, how to attain something. You're focused on success, cultivating some pursuit or connection. And it may tie to property or real estate or some form of uh, unearned income. You know, if you're writing a book, your royalties, if you've made some investments, the dividends from that. But ownership is important this week and knowing how to master your resources. And it could be that self-control is an issue. For some of you, the idea of being alone, either you're enjoying that or you're working to gain some self-mastery in your capacity to be alone. Uh, for some of you, there is a definite connection to nature. Again, you could be uh, on a retreat. Maybe you work in nature. Uh, maybe you work with animals or there's some kind of concern for the environment. And, you know, if this is land or property, maybe how that's being managed, is it managed properly or wisely? For others of you, this is going to tie to perhaps a wife or, in some cases, a mistress or perhaps, you know, somebody that you admire. And they may or may not know that or vice versa. And this could be a person who is very cultured. They're intelligent, they have a lot of charm, a lot of grace, uh, and so, you know, they are your ideal, but for whatever reason, maybe you're not able to connect to that person. Either they're walling themselves off, or you're very self-contained, maybe they're unavailable, but something about not, be, not, not having them quite within your grasp is part of the picture. Now, this is a week, again, that focuses on the self and how you feel about that, whether you're comfortable in your own skin, uh, with your own uh, identity, who you are. Uh, and so personal achievement is in focus, and that's the best way for you to make gains uh, this week. You know, relying on yourself, you know whether you're going to come through for you, and that gives you peace of mind. Because if you're looking to others, if you're expecting too much from a situation or a person, or vice versa, if you're letting them uh, make a lot of demands on you, then people are going to get a reality check. And if you've been coming up with this ideal of who a person is or somebody has projected that onto you, then that fantasy picture is going to be punctured this week because this is about you and your, your gains come through what you have put in, what you have cultivated. The fruitfulness is a direct result of your effort. You're being rewarded for your uh, unwavering faith in yourself and your ability to keep keeping on. So this could be a week where you get some attention for your effort. It could be you get an award. Uh, it could be that you get voted for something, a nomination of some sort. Uh, maybe you get a promotion. For some of you, there's going to be a party. Maybe some of you are focused on retirement, and so there's some kind of celebration connected to that. For others of you, this is just somebody showing you that they appreciate you and your efforts and what you have to offer. So somebody could be giving you, you know, a thanks that is very heartfelt. 
This could be a very fortunate week for you, especially if it's connected to business or family. Those ties may advance you in some way. And again, there could be a focus on property. Maybe you're going to buy something. Maybe you're going to inherit something. And so, you know, you are focused on your prosperity. And some of that, maybe that's going to come through self-employment. Maybe you're starting a business or you're focused on your physical well-being. Now, in the negative, maybe there's somebody who's not managing something properly. Could be some dishonesty or somebody has a guilty conscience. Uh, it could be that there's some success built on something uh, dishonest, some ill-founded success. Or maybe you don't have the ability to claim the, the independence that you want because of some kind of financial instability. It could be that this is a week where there's some theft or you're looking at some of the poor choices that have been made. Uh, so for some of you, you're dealing with some kind of unexpected repair. Maybe there's some problems with your property or if this was about the environment, you're very focused on situations where there is pollution or uh, abuse of, of animals or the environment. Uh, it could be you're even having some problems with a pet or an animal in your life. Some of you, you are buckling under the burden of wealth. Uh, and maybe you feel tied to your possessions or the responsibilities connected to wealth. Maybe you feel like you're trapped, and but you have this desire to be free, to be able to do what you want. So, you know, you could be working through some things, uh, you know, again, deceit or swindling or something illicit or some kind of issue. And on a personal level, it could be that something's going on behind your back. People are saying negative things. There's some gossip taking place. And, you know, it's not pleasant. They're, these are not compliments that are being shared about you. In fact, it's something that may be unfair, untruthful, unkind, unwarranted, and definitely unsolicited. So you want to defend yourself naturally. That's a human response. And you may be thinking about retaliating, or maybe you're part of that rumor mill. You're passing along some gossip or some secrets. But you need to be careful this week because you need to embody grace, charm, intelligence, and wit because something you say may be revisiting you in the most unpleasant way. This is you having to look at where you're getting your jollies, what's providing that entertainment, that pleasure for you, uh, other people, situations, and what is the bottom line price tag to that? Is it bringing you a lot of trouble? Is it putting you in danger? Is it creating some heartache for you? Is it more than it's worth? So what? how do you seek pleasure? Where, do, where are your pursuits? What kind of people are you hanging out with and what kind of impact are they having on you? What are you doing? How are you spending your money and how does that come back to undercut you somehow later. So you have to look at that, especially if you are in some kind of escapist mode or you're retreating because you're trying to get over some kind of emotional disappointment or loss. Again, if there are some problems surrounding your finances or your security, you could be riding on a false sense of security. This is a week where you will have to protect yourself. You'll have to guard against some kind of loss or some damage to your property, or somebody, you know, talking behind your back and threatening your reputation in some way. And again, this comes from expectations, expecting too much of other people or situations, or again, not having healthy boundaries yourself. So the stronger you feel about getting on with your life, uh, the sooner and the easier you can get over some uncertainty or some fear of rejection or, you know, procrastinating on something. Because again, this is a week about you. And in the best of worlds, something fortunate happens that ties to your hopes and dreams, and perhaps it exceeds that expectation. Uh, but again, expectation is an issue for you. Could be an unexpected gift or an opportunity, or you're realizing that 
you need to be a self-starter. You need to be relying on yourself and you need to take some action with regard to a situation. Hey, before you go, don't forget to visit my website blog for the daily tarot card of the day.